It so. sounds really selfish and mean, but do you want a good spot to see the artist? Ask yourself that question. Yeah. Hey, what's up? It's Burke. And it's Taylor. And today we are going to be filming tips about concerts and mainly how to get barricade at a concert. So applaud for that host. So stay tuned also to the end of our video for us to give you our number one tip on how to always get barricade and front row at every show. Um, let's just get into the video but before we do our Instagrams will be linked in the description. Go follow them because we post really cute shit and subscribe because we're an awesome channel. So the first thing we're gonna talk about today is the different types of venues because as you know, we're not gonna put a title up, Brooke, because the font is so fucking ugly. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Obviously, concerts take place in different venues. So there's always gonna be different outcomes and different things you need to prepare for different yeah. venues. It all depends on where you are. Yes. So we have the regular small venues, and within those venues is pretty much just general admission. There's no seats. Yeah, and if so, it's like more like, they're called balcony seats, yeah. which we've never been on. So can't give you advice on that one. <laughs> and then there's also outdoor concerts, so I mean, pretty straightforward, it's outdoor. Pretty much, we're gonna be talking about just general admission outdoor. Outdoor concerts seem to usually be general admission, and then there's the big stadium arenas that a lot of concerts take place in, and you can be seated or you can be in GA. So there's so much to talk about, so let's get into it. This is the first one, and we're going to start with small venues. Small venues are often locally like local business locally owned and you will run into the worst workers there <laughs> i am telling you what was that what was what you didn't hear a noise no oh mm -hmm. so small venues they can be really crowded and freaking just shit but yeah. you have a love-hate relationship with them because they're always so fun usually the stages aren't very wide yeah so when you line up or like later within the day you're gonna be way further back than you thought you were you may see 20 people ahead of you and think i'm in a great spot but it's not the same as being in a stadium arena 20 people in a small venue is gonna be at least like the first and second row probably it depends how small it is yeah so how do we prepare for these types of venues? how do we prep if you can drive to the venue the your venues. car will solve so many problems for you we always pack a water bottle <laughs> in our car so when we get out of those concerts and we're dying of thirst we have water ready for us this is extremely poor important this is the most thing that we do not forget about at all <laughs> no matter where you are no matter what venue in no matter what concert you're going to you need to stay hydrated at all times this water like after in your car is gonna save you it could even be yes. warm it could be sitting in your hot summer car this is so unimportant. Water is water, people! <laughs> if you're gonna be standing in line for a long time, because usually with these small venues, you're standing in line for a long time, you should bring something to eat. Bring some snackos. Bring some snacks. Not unless you know you're in an area that has a lot of restaurants or like fast food chains where if you're in a big group of friends and you guys can split off, then it's fine. But with Taylor and I, we're usually just the two of us, so we don't really leave line. That we try much. not to leave the line because. <laughs> I'm nervous about people like fill in the gap. So bring food. The most important part too about when you're standing in line is to know where a washroom is. Make sure you pee an hour before you go in. So you don't want to be the person standing in GA Bro. going like, you're jumping, <laughs> up and down. you're jumping up and down and your bladder is about to explode. Bro, it is terrible. It ruins your experience. It ruins everything. So make sure to know where a bathroom is. Also, True. buy stuff from the dollar store that you do not care if it gets left behind. So something really big that we did for the first time in a small venue was pack these motherfuckers. These are our water shots. These come in real handy because you're not allowed to bring water into venues tech usually. When you're in there, you're dying. It is impossible it's hot. to not need water. So you pack these motherfuckers. They don't find them. How do they not find them? I'm about to show you. You take a tampon. So sorry, this really only works for girls. Sorry about it. No, no. If, you have, if you're a boy, steal your mother's. So they're sisters. Yeah, but I mean, like, what's the excuse of a boy having a tampon? True. I'm holding it for my girlfriend. That's what you can say. You can just lie. <laughs> you take a tampon, right? And you fill up a little container. Tube. We, we got these from the dollar store. We emptied these. We emptied the glitter out of these and filled them up with water. And then we take our handy dandy tampon. You just ditch the tampon <laughs> because you don't need it. All you need is the wrapper, people. So you just stick the little, the, the container in there. And it looks like a tampon and nobody knows. All you have to do is just tape. 
just tape the sides, scotch tape, you if know, you, like, whatever. If you, like, want to get extra Just with leave them. this in your bag. Put them in, find a little pocket in your purse, put them underneath, and put some, like, real tampons on top, and nobody is ever nobody. going to know. Especially when the male security guards open it up, they go, oh, fuck shit, yeah. and they close it, because they get so uncomfortable that has with happened feminine to me products. So many times. I went to... It's the funniest thing. We went to festivals. Oh, we didn't even talk about festivals. Fuck festivals. We're That's another day. world. <laughs> I went to a festival. He asked... To look into my bag, I showed him, and I had a whole bunch of these tampons, and he went, "Oh, sorry, sorry." He didn't yeah. even look. They get so, so uncomfortable. I just like this. <laughs> I popped it over. <laughs> Rejuvenated. <laughs> it is a lifesaver in the pit. You're gonna thank us. Make sure to know what you wear, what you're gonna wear in the pit, because you're gonna be sweating a lot. Thin and less clothing as possible. Yeah, Don't I wear pants. Wore, I wore jeans in the no pit. No sweaters. One time. No long sleeves. Jeans in a pit is a bad idea. Do not do it, ladies. Don't do it. Wear some type of comfortable shoes. Fuck heels, too. Why do I... I see girls all the time in the pit with heels. They can't walk after the show's over. It is an advantage because you can see higher. A little height. But the thing is, is it's not that worth it. Trust. There's pros and cons. Trust. So another tip that helps a lot is to wear a hat, a beanie. And make sure that your beanie doesn't have, like, a big ball on top. Because everyone will freaking... Like, we literally were in a pit out. one time and people were chanting at a girl... Take down your bun! Take down your bun! So make sure your beanie is bunless, okay? It, this is extremely helpful. It's because so helpful. Small venues can take place during over the winter times. So when you're in Canada and it's November and it's freezing cold, this helps for when you're waiting in line. When you wear a beanie inside a small venue, it helps keep the motherfuckers off of your hair. When you're in a pit like that, people pull your hair every five seconds, so either put it up or put a beanie on. So that's pretty much a small venue to me like pretty much okay outdoor concerts it depends on the weather Ven outdoor venues pretty much only happen during summertime sunscreen buy umbrellas from the dollar store we brought ponchos rain ponchos because they let you obviously bring them into the venue ponchos are a really good thing to bring yet again water snacks is pretty much the same thing when the outdoor concerts are a good place to start if you're trying to get used yeah. to ga start with like a pit like outdoor venue if that makes sense outdoor concerts aren't there's not really much to it dress to the weather we found okay. the most amazing technology ever created and this works so well if you're deep in the middle of the pit Can't this breathe. is going to save your life Life. Ah, da -da. So a little fan. You just plug it in and bam, foam. And it's gonna I mean, give you <laughs> life. It uses your battery, but honestly, not that fast. This makes you feel so much better. Something really, really important too that you should bring to any concert, no matter where you are. Phone say. chargers, like portable phone chargers. If you're outside before a venue and you're waiting like eight hours, chances are you're gonna be on your phone and you're gonna be using your battery. Like that's so, just how it goes. And you can get like really normal sized ones and they can fit in your purse. Or if you have like a fanny pack, they can still fit in one of those. I try to wear as long less and less as I can to what a concert's now so like not clothes but I mean like bags I used to wear bring backpacks but it takes that much longer to get you searched and people will fly by you this is the perks of driving you can leave your purse in the car and lock up your car if you don't have anything they can just quickly check you and then you're in and you're in you don't waste so that fast much more time because usually there's a couple lines going in it's mm -hmm. really rare that only one line is circling into the venue and, and now on to the biggest and most important is stadium arena concert these ones are literally blessed. There's air conditioning in there. It's so much bigger. The freaking front of GA, like the very stage, like the, the barricade is like, it's so like long. It's 70 people. It fits so many people. So your odds of getting barricade are a lot higher. You can kind of dress a little bit more how you like, but it still will get hot if you're in the middle of the pit. Yeah. So you can either line up really, really early and try to get the barricade or be like third and fourth row and beyond you can line up during the day of the concert and you can be like dead middle of the pit or you can still line up the day of and choose to be in the very back of the pit where I know there is a lot of more space and people dance or you can even choose to go to B stage a lot of artists have a second stage that they perform a few songs at it just kind of depends where you want to be in the arena yeah. and then you have to plan accordingly to where it is if you try to be front of the front of the pit like at the main stage you're gonna probably have to line up at least like really early morning of the day of like the really early morning like a 6 a.m thing or at least one overnight also keep in mind depending on what artist you're going to they often sell vip tickets so it doesn't matter how early you line up you will never be barricade if there is vip so if there's vip and you didn't get it already expect that you're not gonna have ga mm -hmm. or um, you're, i mean you're not gonna have uh front 
Right you're not gonna have the bear cake. Okay, so now that we've been over every single type of venue that there pretty much is and how to prepare for them, we're gonna tell you how to get front row at every single concert you go to. Subtract if there's VIP. <laughs> don't listen to this. <laughs> well, or just number one, buy VIP. <laughs> yeah, or that. If you have that, will get you the front. You can not have VIP, and you can be one of those really annoying people that push up to the front, but nobody likes them. When you're on barricade, you don't let go of the fucking barricade, so mm. you're still not gonna get first row. You'll get like second row. If you want to be front row at a general admission, really small venue, you have to line up early the day of. Usually, it's small bands that go to small venues. People don't don't line up days before for those type of bands. It's usually really early the day of. Second venue is outside. Same thing. Same thing. It's about lining up early. Again, it, it depends on the artist, but usually it's the day of you line up super early. Honestly, another tip, practice cardio. You run to these places all the time. If you're on an outdoor concert, one time they said you can't run until you hit the sand. We've run at festivals before, so get your cardio in, get to the gym, and practice your concert running, people. Yeah, concert speed walking. Most people should do speed walking. If you get those tips down, then you'll be bypassing everybody with your speed walking. Honestly, Honestly, like, too, a real, a real quick tip. They'll, they'll be, they'll always threaten you. Do not run, or I'll send you to the back. They cannot do that. I've Just never said. seen someone get because one, no. one security guard's not gonna chase down one girl. No, everybody. So you running. know what you do? The minute they scan your ticket and you're allowed in, you just run a little bit, okay? Just run a light mm -hmm. jog until someone says no right. Then you speed then walk you just it. Speed walk it. But guess and what? And then you run again. And then you run again when there's no one near because they can't do anything to you, okay? And, and if you can, if the security guard are roaming around make friends with security guards get to know their name be friendly they get to recognize your face oh you yeah know what I mean? this helps make eye contact with the security guards make sure they know your face be and present. then they will remember if you're at the front or not that wraps up the video thanks for sticking around watching it it's gonna be a bitch to edit so please give it a like thanks for watching much love thanks for watching love you guys very very much and peace out my dudes have a nice one love you forever Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can pretend you don't miss me.